Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just wanted to encourage somebody because I was reminded how people have a tendency to look down upon us. People have a tendency to judge us based upon our appearance, based upon our character, when they don't even know who we are. They're looking at us and they're side-eyeing us, they're judging us, they're speaking foul against us. And when you have a gift of discernment, you can pick that up in the spirit realm that somebody is looking down upon you, somebody is judging you when they don't even know your work. They don't even know your value. Just because today I'm in exercise clothes, that doesn't mean anything. Just because I'm not looking like the ebony girl today, just because I'm not looking like the Esquire man, it doesn't matter. I have value. I have worked. I have class. I have style. It's just that today is not the day that I feel like looking my best. But don't look down upon me because I have worked inside of me. I have education inside of me. I have spiritual wealth inside of me. There's greatness in the inside of me. Why? Because I've worked for it. But you don't understand the value that is in me. You looking upon the flesh and you seeing something that you don't like. So you feel that you can voice your opinion. But have you ever noticed that your opinion does not matter when you are a child of God? That person, that naysayer's voice does not hinder where God is about to bring you because all you focus on is my next level is elevation. All I'm focused on is I got to get this next degree. I got to make this next dollar. All I know is that my plans is in the hands of the Lord right now and I'm working forward. I'm pressing to the mark of a higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus. I am moving toward my destiny. Why? Because he told me that there's purpose in me. He told me there's purpose promise in me. He told me there's intellect in me. He told me that there's a creative anointing in me. So why do I have to waste my energy sitting here thinking about what somebody else is saying? You have to understand how did it go? Shut up. You have value inside of you. Grab your destiny and your value and let it work and let it speak. And every naysayer that put their mouth upon you is going to see you blessed in this season. Every person that spoke a generational curse upon you is about to see that the blessings of the Lord is upon your shoulders. The blessing of the Lord is upon your loins. You're about to walk into this season that, oh, God, help my spirit, that God has for you in this hour. There's blessings with your name upon it. Why? Because you are a blesser. You are a giver. You are a tither. You are a cedar. You are a servant. He's called you for such a time as this. So walk into your season. Walk into your destiny. Stop focusing on what other people People have to say about you. And God said, I validated you. I've sealed you. I've approved you so that you can walk forth in my ministry, in my earth rim and do missionary evangelists, whatever God is calling you to do. That's what you do. You stop sitting here focusing on who not supporting you, who not liking you, who not doing this for you. God said, I'm all sufficient in my grace has been sufficient for you. I'm about to show you my hand is up on your life. So get ready to receive what God has for you because the world can't bless you the way God is about to bless you. The world can't open doors for you the way God is about to open doors for you. Get ready for your spiritual alignment because this is the hour that God is about to pour into you like never before. So take your energy and elevate what God is doing in your life. Take your energy and go on a fast. Take your energy and pray yourself to the deep level. Take your energy and rise up above the circumstances because this is your time to rise up aware. Oh, Rabba Satata Mushata to the place where God is calling you. We don't have time to let the naysayers, the doubters, the envious, the jealousy people destroy what God is birthing inside of us. This is your season to give birth. This is the year of restoration. This is the year that God is going to restore everything that was stolen from you in your life, whatever area concerneth you. So stop allowing people to destroy your emotions because they have an ill feeling of you. Stop allowing people to take your day from you and steal your joy because God said, I am your joy. I I am your strength. This is the hour that God is going to do something supernatural in your life. So let go of all that negativity. And if you've got people in your life that's holding you back, that God is telling you, let go, then it's your time. You let them go. Because one thing about it is God said, I'll bring the people to you that I need that's going to bless you, that's going to help elevate you, that's going to push you, that's going to birth you into the right destiny that I have for you. He's already aligning people up for you. So why are you holding on to the doubters and the naysayers? The songwriter said, Father God, work in me and prove my doubters wrong. So when you have a vision, you still have to be mindful of what God is doing with the vision, what God is bringing you in this season, not to be sharing, not to be telling everybody everything that God is whispering to you in your prayer time. This is the season to be still and let God work it out until the manifestation 
and your life happen. This is your season, sister. This is your season, brother. Get up and do what God has called you to do. Stop allowing people to hurt your feelings when God said that I'm here for you. Stop allowing people to cause you to move out of the mark of your promise, your destiny. I was sharing with someone a couple of days ago how I wish I would have known what I knew now. So that way I would be much further in life. But then I understood that it's God's timing. But then I understood that I had to watch what I say to people because people was talking me out of my destiny. People was talking me out of my dream. People was talking me out of the vision that God has for me because I thought they had my heart in concern. I thought that my future had mattered to them. But I soon realized as I grew up in God, that there are some things that's happening in this season right now in this moment of my life that I cannot share with everybody because God said, I'm about to bless you even the more. All I need you to do is remain faithful. All I need you to do is remain consistent because the blessings are on the way. I pray that this message blesses somebody. I pray that you share it with somebody that you know that may be going through something in their lives and they're uncertain. They have allowed the adversary to steal their joy, to steal the plan that God has for them. Understand that it is restoration time. All you have to do is get in your word and begin to feed your spirit like never before. Understand Jeremiah 29 and 11 that God knew the plans that he has for us. And what about he said? The plans are for us to prosper. The plans are for us to succeed. The plans are for us to live well. The plans are for us to do his will. So blessings and grace and thank you for supporting and following. Love you.